Hey everybody, Jonathan here, Modern Pilates Instructor. We're gonna be going over a single leg squat today at the back of the machine. What I have you do is I have you stand inside of the well and I want you to pick up the blue cable first and then step up second. Just like the X lunge that I talked about before, I want you to refrain from standing up first and then having to bend over and pick up the blue cable. So just remember, start down low, pick up the blue cable, then stand up. Once you're up on the platform, you're gonna pull the carriage in and I want the target leg to be going all the way forward to the edge of the platform. And then your non-target leg diagonally behind you on the carriage with your toes down and your heels raised. Now there's multiple ways to hold this. You can hold it by the black handle, you can hold it down where the blue strap is, or you can hold down by the buckle. What I noticed from teaching through the years is that when your height is closer to the ground, holding lower down in the cable is a little easier and taller people will hold up top or the top of the blue cable, which is what I like to hold. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our gaze forward. You have options with your left hand. When I started Pilates, I had my left arm out like a wing to balance out the weight. And then as I got stronger, I had my hand behind my back to fix my posture by pulling the shoulder blades back. Then as I got stronger, I then used my finger to hold the blue cable. And eventually I was able to hang up the blue cable and do it without the blue cable. Now let's talk about form. What I'll have you do in class is I'll have you go down, sitting down and behind you like you're sitting on the black handlebar behind you to try to get your knee above your ankle. If it's a little forward, that's fine. But the goal is to try to sit back so that the knee stays stacked. Then I'll have you exhale as you drive through the heel to come up 95% so that you do not lose tension by locking out your knee. You breathe in as you sit down and back and you exhale as you press through your heel. You wanna try your best to sit down and back like you're pushing someone away with your butt so that the knee maintains straightness above the ankle. Now what I look for when you're not doing the, uh, when you're not performing it correctly is sometimes as you go down, the inner right thigh starts to collapse into the well like this, and that's a no-go. So if you need to modify, hold the ca cable with two hands and then practice going down slow as you can. Another thing I wanna talk about is progression. A lot of people talk to me and they say, hey, I don't know if I'm getting stronger or not because it always feels like it's just so challenging. And the truth is, it is. It should always feel challenging and never easy, but you should get stronger. So the recent thing that I've been telling people is that when you're going up through your exhale, pressing through your heel, I want you to see how far you can come up before pulling on the blue cable, remember how far you went and track your progress. Sometimes you'll amaze yourself and thinking things sometimes holds us back. So what I want you to do sometimes, or maybe one time, hang up the blue cable on the black handlebar and then put your arm, arms out in front of you. Exhale as you draw your arms up as you press through your heel and press down through your toe. Then if you need the blue cable again, it's right on the edge and you can just take it off, pull it up and help you come in. If you ever need a break and you're afraid of falling down, all you have to do is pull the carriage in, step onto the platform, relax your arms, maybe shake off your leg, and then get back into position with your right toe all the way forward, pulling the carriage in to put your toes on the diagonally part of the carriage, and then meet me low again to restart. Now let's talk about some variations. You have holds, you have pulses, pulsing up, two, down two, or whatever the instructor wants you to go up and down. And you got some extra ones. What I've been teaching recently is a bicep curl or a row with a skater. Meeting me low into your position, my arms are a little bit longer, so I have to hold down in the blue strap. You exhale as you bicep curl, pressing down your left toe to bring the left knee in, and then release the arms and legs out. Another thing you can do is a row by pulling the cable up and back as you bend your knee and then release slow and control. And those are the two variations that I typically teach. Sometimes I add in holds and pulses when your knee is in. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.